There's a lot of talk about the world historic role that the great generation had. Then there's the 60s generation, which had a purpose. And yet the current generation is caught up in a crisis like no other. They're told that they're a me generation with no purpose, no world historical role. The vast and complicated issues facing today's generation can leave many with the uncertainty that nothing can be done. The current generation of kids are literally saturated with media. If you grow up in an electronic environment, then you may have a kind of an empathy deficit of some kind. People really don't understand what TV is for. It's to sell you things. That's what it's for. You'd be lucky if you get some entertainment out of it. Who's to blame here? Education. The media. The parents. We do our best to affect the youth culture. I mean, from a business point of view, the ideal social unit is you and the television set. We aren't as active as the generations of the 60s and 70s. A big part of that is because we haven't gone outside. I don't buy into this idea that we're okay. I don't think we're okay. If you don't have history, then you're stuck with the word of authorities. In this information age of ours, we have to find a new kind of movement. In order for a revolution to happen, it has to change on every level. It's a time to regenerate. Don't let anybody call you immature or naive because you talk about attaining justice. There are so many people who morally disagree with what's going on. We can't talk about addressing the corruption in people and the world if we ain't addressing the corruption in ourselves. There are so many life and death issues right now. How are you weighing in? If we want to leave anything to future generations, it needs to be the fact that we tried. It's the history of ordinary people fighting back to win progressive change. What is left of today's generation to deal with today's issues? Will we even try? <laughs>